fucking PGA Championship stuff. PGA Championship stuff? Okay. Yeah. I'm good at talking, man. I may not be good at anything you else. You are. I've been reading some articles from you. You're a quote machine. Okay, you are a quote machine. You guys are good? Yeah. What's this going to be on? This is going to be on the Road to the PGA show, like we did last year. Oh, it is? It'll be on July 28th on CBS. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got you a copy of last year. We'll get you a copy. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. What if we don't make it to the PGA? Is this, do I just get this an exemption? This is still going to be in the show. Okay. Yeah, because this is for the beginning of the show. Okay. But play well. Though. I will play well. <laughs> if I just stay close to dirt, I'll be all right. Yeah, there we go. That's my deal, man. You guys good? Yeah, we're all okay. All right, Jeff, so you've been to a, a few PGAs now, and you're mm -hmm. looking for more. Talk about <laughs> the thrill of, of playing in, in the PGA Championship. You know, it, it's been great. Like I've said, um, for the PGA to allow club pros to come and play in that, it's a neat thing. And, you know, we were just talking about my grandkids and my kids and my wife for life and all that jazz. And it's a, it's a neat thing as a, for a legacy. Like last year at the PG at Key Island, you know, Zach Johnson's a friend of mine. Man, we played with Gary Woodland and Jonathan Bird and Aaron Badley and, you know, a bunch of guys like Bubba Watson. I remember Zach was, we're on the 10th hole at, at Kiwa right there. And Bubba Watson walks up and there's Hunter Mahan and Aaron Badley and Jonathan Bird, Gary Woodland, Zach. And... Jonathan rips one down the middle, and Gary Woodland just airmails everybody, and Zach's top 10 in driving accuracy. rips one down the middle, and now it's my turn, right? All these guys are standing there, and I hear Zach. I'm standing with the ball, and I hear Zach go, watch this. This will freak you out. And I think, I'm going to hit a good one, man. And so I ripped one down the middle, and Zach goes, told you. You know what I mean? So like things like that are really neat, those memories, right? And to be able to relate those to my grandkids. And another neat thing was... Uh, I got one of those flags at Kiwa, and, and I could have gone to a lot of guys and said, hey, will you sign this for my grandson? But really what I did was, would you um, put too Layton, that's my grandson's name, and write what, something about golf and then sign it. So, man, Tiger Woods, hey, too Layton, you know, your friend, Tiger Woods, Roy McIlroy, too Layton, pursue your dreams with a passion, Roy McIlroy, you know what I mean? And so Steve Stricker, work on the short game, it's the most important part, Stuart Sink, Layton. Learn to hit it hard first, then learn to hit it straight. Stuart Singh. So I got just a bunch of guys. Phil Mickelson. And so he has those. He's not even, you know, two years old, man. He has them in his bedroom, right? And so it's, that's, that's serious, neat stuff. And that means a lot to me. And then the chance to do something. Like, not just to show up to play in a PGA or say I was there. I mean, you know, but, but a chance to do something extraordinary. That, that's what I want to do. And so those two things are big to me. You've got a lot of folks that you teach mm -hmm. who are part of this and mm -hmm. they're sharing this. Uh, what does that mean to qualify for the PGA and to know that they're supporting you? Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm at uh, Simiamu Resort. I've been there 19 years. I had no gray hair and wrinkles when I got there, man. But, And so I plan to be there 19 more. And, and the director of golf, the membership, my students, you know, in fact, at the PGA last year, I had one of my students caddy for me. He, he's a pro now, and I, I've been teaching him since high school, and he plays on the Canadian Tour, and he's out there caddying for me. So that relationally is huge, right? And so, you know, we got this picture, you know, at the PGA and, and um, you know, he has a copy of it framed and, and something that I won't forget and he won't forget. And, you know, not, not to sound corny, but that's really priceless, right? It's an investment in a life, which is, it goes a long way. You're the embodiment of, of staying competitive hmm. past age 50 and thereaway too. Um, talk about playing in the PGA and it's not a ceremonial thing. Like you mm -hmm. want to be some people. Right. Yeah, you know, I played with, you know, um, a couple of really neat guys, Bud Colley and Robert Rock. Really gentlemen, really good guys, but it was neat for me because, man, I was first up on the team, man. I'm making a couple birdies, making, you know, some pars, and it's like, come on, baby, let's do this thing. So that was a lot of fun. And, um, and I, I know Daryl, you know, Daryl and I, when we're at tournaments, I, I see him in the workout room, I'm in the workout room, right? I'm, you know, I, and so it's fun. It, it's, it's like, man, I'm on the back nine, but I want to finish strong. I don't want to, uh, you know, hobble across the finish line. I want to run across the finish line. So I, I really look forward to that. And, you know, I played in both the senior and the regular, you know, the last couple of years, and that's, that's kind of a neat thing. Nice. That was great. He's just going to grab a couple shots of you right now. Okay.